Yeah. I picked this up at the Goodwill shop, like, today. Literally, like, about a few hours ago. I mean, yeah. I find it unique. I mean, at first I thought it was a regular, blah, alarm clock. Like a Spartus or something. But when I said, when it said Howard Miller, I'm thinking, hmm, intriguing. Because most of the Howard Miller clocks that I see now are like the expensive grandfather clocks that are like an item up for bid on the price is right. I mean, actual retail price $1,283, come up and play a pricing game. But yeah, I mean, I took the tag off because I'm, I mean, I find leaving the tag on is like kind of tacky. I'm going to have to get some goo on on this, but it was tagged two ninety nine, but since green tag was half off today, I figured I got it for like a buck fifty. Not bad. But there's, like, no information at the bottom. Hence, that's why no information available. And it's got the time and alarm settings right here, fast and slow. And the snooze bar, well, see, if you want to snooze it, you got to do that. Press the entire thing down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the alarm and show you what it does. Okay, and believe it or don't, the alarm is on. I know there's no indicator light. The only indicator that's there is like to show that it's on PM, so yeah. We patiently wait. Yeah, this is so exciting. Not very loud, but exceptionally annoying. And snooze it. Yeah, just press the entire thing down and boom, it kind of whatever. And turn it off just like that. So, yeah. Not very special, but it is a unique alarm clock from like the Howard Miller Clock Company somewhere. And I think it's well worth a buck fifty. So until next time, ask you thanks for watching Comic Boxes. Open. <laughs>